Ted Sorensen, who was Jack Kennedy's, President Kennedy's top guy in the White House, was considered seriously for the CIA uh, by Jimmy Carter. Uh, one reason he was taken out of that uh, uh, competition or that consideration was that he had been uh, a conscientious objector. In the war, he put it out on the table and he said, look, I don't believe in this is not Vietnam, it was World War II, I don't believe in this war and I'm a CO. That had an impact. Uh, do you see, Congressman, any uh, comparison at all between that experience as a political matter and what your candidate is going uh, through now? No, really, not at all. And I think there's a big difference between uh, World War II and Vietnam. And fortunately, there's a big difference between Vietnam and how we fought to, in Iraq. The United States has learned some very vital lessons. But let me just report something that's just happened recently. The Veterans of Foreign War Organization, which uh, endorsed uh, George Bush and Ronald Reagan in their first elections, has chosen not to uh, endorse uh, George Bush this that time. Correct. And, that's and what they have said, what they have said is that although honorable military service is a, a concern, there are many other more pressing concerns to that veteran organization. Uh, and of course, to other just, Americans just to make the veterans. record straight, sir, and we're, we're, we're going to have to take a break before too long, and that is that the, they are very upset about veterans' benefits. It has nothing to do with this, this, this what, issue. What do you mean yes. it has nothing to do? They took that into consideration. <laughs> okay. They've looked okay. at this totality, right. and I, I think that's what Americans are going to do. I want to ask the Senator that same question. Given the record, as you believe the record, uh, some Democrats mm -hmm. might disagree. Mm -hmm. Is there any doubt in your mind at all, do you have any qualms about a President Clinton uh, ordering uh, Americans into battle? Anything at all that bothers you there? I, d I do have some qualms about it, but I do b also believe that we should judge him on his entire record. I also believe that uh, we understand why young men made the decision that they did. The question now is, what are the facts? That's the real question. We're going to have to take a break in, in less than in, in half a minute, but I want to ask you this, Senator. Isn't it a fact that if you were within 10, if you were 10 points ahead instead of 10 points behind, you wouldn't be raising the draft issue? I, I think that clearly there is renewed emphasis on it, but I also think it is driven by the revelations of new information because I don't think you'd get the resonance it is getting at least in some parts of America because of the new information that's come to light. And okay. I think they're doing their best to generate information every single day. I don't pardon, think you can generate they're doing it without everything the facts. Uh, no, John, I, yes. I don't think you can state that, state that as a fact. Okay. I can say it as a fact because I saw the most, one of the most credible person I've ever seen in a man named Jackson. Okay, we're going to have to take a break. And when we return, we'll be back with the big question for Senator McCain and Congressman McCurdy. Evans and Novak is brought to you by GE. From aircraft engines to appliances, we bring good things to life. He was 50 when it happened. In three months, he went from perfect vision to almost total blindness. You know, you never appreciate the beauty in your life until you can't see it anymore. My wife, my family, my life. Everything I cared about just turned to darkness. And no one could tell me why. In test after test, doctors were at a loss. I can't find a thing. There seemed to be no answers. Finally, a test was done using GE's revolutionary magnetic resonance imager. It lets doctors see things that ordinary tests and x-rays can't. Look at this. Incredible. The doctors discovered a tumor affecting his optic nerves, and he was treated. Within days, he got his vision back. Hey, what a smile. And everything that came with it. Just when I need someone to love me Just when I think the world's too cold Right there beside me There you are in my heart Standing by me once again There Sheba, because you cherish your cat The campaigns heat up as the countdown to election day continues I'm Catherine Cryer Democrats, Republicans, and those in the middle sort through the sense and nonsense of politics 92 every Monday on Cryer & Company, 11.30 a.m. Eastern on CNN.
The big question for Senator John McCain, Senator, can't we say that if Bill Clinton is elected president, the question of military service in Vietnam will never, ever again be an issue in a presidential campaign? Absolutely. I think that if, if he is elected, then I think that it's uh, clearly an issue, at least as far as Vietnam is concerned, is probably resolved in the minds of the American people, at least to a significant degree. Let me give you the adverse of that. Um, Congressman McCurdy, if he is not elected, will this then become an issue in future campaigns of Vietnam-aged presidential candidates? Well, I should, I, I should hope not, and I think Senator McCain gave a very fair response. Uh, I respect Senator McCain's service during Vietnam, and I think it's uh, after Iraq, we finally commemorated those people who did serve, and uh, I think America wants to put this issue behind us and deal with the issues of the 21st century. Congressman, your, uh, your, your colleague up there, Congressman Pat Schroeder of Colorado, said the other day that voters' eyes glaze over on this issue of uh, Governor Clinton and the draft. They're bored with it. Do you believe that? Well, I think they're going to have to consider this along with a number of other issues, but I think the more important issues are looking at the record of both people, and, and I don't think Americans want four more years of what they've just had. Do you think, Senator, that there is a, uh, a uh, friction inside the American voting public on this issue that, that is really bothering a lot of people, or do you think, as Pat Schroeder said, this is really a boring issue at this point? I don't think it bores them, and again, I think it goes to this issue of getting all the facts out. And uh, I remember, as you do, when Geraldine Ferraro had a press conference, and either rightly or wrongly at the completion of it, all the press applauded her candor and her forthcoming uh, behavior. And I think that's the way, the best way that Governor Clinton can address it. The um, question that my, my, the people in Arizona have in mind is not only whether it served or not, but how and what were the circumstances? Congress, uh, Senator, thank you for being with us. Congressman McCurdy, it's sorry we have to go. My partner and I will be back with a comment after these messages. idea of giving truckers a better two-way radio system. Then with a war chest of $3,000, they decided to take on the largest company on earth. When the smoke cleared, MCI had changed telecommunications forever. Where in today's world do you find such aggressive, fast-growing companies? Actually, there's a list of them printed every day. NASDAQ, the stock market for the next hundred years. 85 copies a minute. A full three-year guarantee. Introducing the high-speed Meta DC 8585. Our most sizable contribution to business productivity ever. The generation told not to trust anyone over 30 is turning 50. Is America's midlife crisis about to begin? Coming of age, beginning Monday on Early Prime, 4 p.m. Eastern on CNN. Bob, among all the other problems that the Republicans are raising about Bill Clinton's draft issue, I think we heard a new one from the senator. He said he is worried by what he called Clinton's loathing of the military as expressed in those days of 1969 and 70 when he was having this uh, uh, problem uh, with the draft board and staying out of the draft. That is a new issue that I uh, have not heard raised. You know, uh, the, the issue that has come out of politics and was uh, shown very clearly on this program is should Bill Clinton go to the American people with a press conference and, and answer everything? Uh, Congressman McCurdy said it's not needed. All the details are out. Senator McCain laughs at that. But I guarantee you this, if 
if Co Governor Clinton goes before the people in a press conference, that will be a political defeat for him. I don't think he's going to do it. And I think the Senator McCain made it very clear that he thinks what new facts are coming out are not coming out from Bill Clinton himself or his campaign. They're coming out from old friends of Bill Clinton, like Cliff Jackson. And uh, as you said, he really wants to see it spread on the record. There's no question that the Republicans are feeding this story. Congressman McCurdy is dead right. They're feeding it because they're behind. The question is, are they tampering with the witnesses? Are they, do they get old Colonel Holmes to change his party, uh, change Man. his story? Congressman McCurdy suggests they did. He didn't have any proof on it. But that would be one heck of a story if that is the truth. I'm Robert Novak. I'm Roland Evans. For a transcript, send $5 to Journal Graphics, 1535 Grand Street, Denver, Colorado, 80203, or call 1-303-831-9000. It said he is to computer software what Thomas Edison is to the light bulb. The software Bill Gates developed runs 75% of the computers in the world. And on the day he turned 36, his company, Microsoft, was bigger than Xerox, Kodak, and McDonald's. Where in today's world do you find companies capable of such astonishing growth? Actually, there's a list of them printed every day. NASDAQ, the stock market for the next hundred years. This is a meet up plain paper fax. And this, whoa, uh, anyway, this is a thermal fax. Which one is better? Which one looks better to you? Whatever happened to the dream? dream. Whatever happened to the great society? On poverty. To the promises? An equal chance to the lines that divide are still wide. But progress is being made. And there is hope for everyone to have a piece of the dream. And break down the walls of a house divided. A Democracy in America special, tonight at 10 Eastern on CNN. On CNN Weekend, campaign strategist George Stephanopoulos and Robert Zellick will be the guest on Newsmakers Sunday. That's at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. And later, the state of race relations in the United States is the focus of the CNN special, Democracy in America, A Nation Divided. That's tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern. And just ahead on CNN Daybreak, French voters are deciding today whether to ratify the Maastricht Treaty on European unity. The last official poll found voters split 50-50. With just over six weeks left in the presidential campaign, candidates are running short of time to address the issues. A new CNN USA Today Gallup poll finds out what issues are most important to registered voters. And the crew aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavour is getting ready for a landing at Kennedy Space Center in less than an hour. We'll have live coverage. These stories and a lot more next on CNN Daybreak.